On more than 100 million Capital One customers had their personal information breached, and this morning a Seattle woman is being held accused of hacking into the information. King 5's Kara L. Fallen is live at the U.S. District Courthouse this morning with exactly how this person was able to access this information. Kara. Yes, good morning. Well, this woman is known as 33 year old Paige Thompson. She is a former Seattle tech company software engineer, but new this morning. We know that she was arrested alongside a Seattle man, 66 year old Park Kwan on his property. Agents found several different firearms, over 20 different firearms an AR 15 and AK 47 and other weapons as well. So he is now being held on two federal convictions for firearms violations. And also he was also unable or he or he was um, not allowed to possess a firearm as well. So he is being held on that and she is being held on the other hand because she is accused of hacking into Capital One's databases and downloading information used for credit card applications. According to the bank, she gained access through a misconfiguration web application firewall. 100 million US customers and 6 million Canadian customers were impacted. According to Capital One, 140,000 social security numbers and 80,000 bank account numbers were breached. Thompson even posted about what she did online. Under the username Erratic, she said, I want to get it off my server. That's why I'm archiving all of it. We blurred out those curse words. Now, if Thompson is convicted, she could face up to five years in prison and $250 in fines. And if Quan, on the other hand, is convicted, he could face up to 10 years in prison and also a $250,000 fine. Now, so for those customers who were affected by the breach, they were reached out to by Capital One and they were told that they are going to get free credit monitoring and also identity protection. And that firewall has since been uh, fixed. I'm live here at the courthouse, Kara L. Fallen, King 5 News.